<laughs> okay, so like, I think it's been decided that Slam Poet Edward is just gonna be stream of consciousness. Oh yeah, yeah absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Welcome to the in between. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> who's this guy? Scared military man. <laughs> he was having a heart attack. It's Dan. It, it's Hasselhoff, dude. Um, <laughs> he's trying to save Berlin. He's that. <laughs> he's gonna tear down that wall, Mr. Gorbachev. I was trying to make him Fozzie, but it didn't. It didn't work out. When you said "Hey, hey, hey," it sounded like Michael. Hey, hey, hey. It sounded like Michael Scott's impression of Fat Albert. Oh, yeah, really? Yeah. He goes, hey, 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 it's Fat Albert. <laughs> At least talk, it goes up to Jim, and it's oh. very funny and embarrassing. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's what it reminded me of. <laughs> and then, oh, Hasselhoff. I really, I thought that was going to be the stupidest joke, and I was like, I'm so no, sorry. No, it was and incredible. Then you, 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 like, it was died. incredible. It was incredible. <laughs> it made my life. Oh, my God. It hurt my, my like, my above my ears hurts from laughing. <laughs> you know? When yeah. you get that? Oh, yeah. Dude, the first time we recorded, I think... I went home with just a god awful headache because oh, yeah. of that. There have been oh, last week. Last week we did good work. Yeah, yeah. And at the end of it, I was like, "I'm fucking exhausted. <laughs> like, I need a fucking nap." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I ended up having to go to like two parties afterwards. Ooh. Yeah, that was crazy. And I had a little bit much to drink. Mm. Mm-mm. So what's been going on this week? Oh, I want to talk to you um, because I noticed that um, Game Grumps is doing Breath of the Wild. Yeah. Are you still playing? Have you beaten it yet? I haven't. Yeah, I, I beat it a while ago. Oh, did you? Yeah, because I wanted to like see. Basically, when you're placing the Zelda games in a timeline, right? You, the elements that you really, really need, like the base elements, are at the beginning and the end of the game. Right. Um, it's all about what form Ganon is. What form? What form the Triforce is in, or where it is, and then um, location, obviously. Right. But I mean, I think those are probably the main things. So if you look at the end of Ocarina of Time, <clears throat> which is actually a fucked up one, I should not do that one. Let's do the end of uh, Twilight Princess. Ganondorf is the last thing you fight, so right. it's Ganondorf. Uh, so Ganon is Ganondorf. And then the Triforce is in one piece. And so you know that that would lead to a game where at the beginning of the game, Ganondorf is Ganondorf and the Triforce is in one piece. So you play it like dominoes, all the right. games. So I wanted to get through Breath of the Wild because I wanted to try and place it somewhere and figure out like at the beginning, the Triforce. It's actually kind of hard to tell with how they tell the story because... Mm-hmm. The Triforce seems like it's in one piece at the beginning of the game, but then it's also in one piece at the end of the game, even though it was used for a wish at the beginning of the game, which means that it should go away, usually. Like, okay. it's very... I don't know. I'm, I'm still confused on right. it, which is obvious. Um, but it's fantastic. But the funny thing is, I love Game game Grumps. Like, yeah. I watch it all the time. I have barely watched their Breath of the Wild game. Yeah, I, didn't, I haven't I, even seen a single one. Well, it's... It's not like I haven't had the time or anything right. like that. I can't stand to watch people play that game. Really? Because it's so good to play yourself right. that watching it is boring. Really? Yeah. I had a, I had a really good time watching you and, and uh, Snips play it. Yeah, yeah. When I was over at your place. <clears throat> and I I mean, she she watches me play sometimes, and I'll, I'll watch her play. And I, I enjoy watching her play because she's not a big Zelda fan, and I'm a huge Zelda fan. Right. So to see her enjoying something that I enjoy, it's like... That's cool. That's just fun, right? Right. But, yeah, like, watching Game Grumps, I'm like, this is just... I could go play this myself. (laughs) (laughs) See, my... Like, I've played, I think, three Zelda games ever. Mm Mm-hmm. I played the SNES one, Link to the Past, Mm -hmm. and then I played... um, And that one's great. And then I played... uh, um, one of my favorites was Link's Awakening with the Windfish. Mm-hmm. I fucking love that game. Yeah. And probably one of the most enjoyable gaming experiences was uh, on the Game Boy Color. It was Oracle of Seasons. Oh. My little brother had Oracle of Ages, and I had Oracle nice. of Seasons. So it was really cool. I loved Seasons, man. Mm-hmm. I loved it. It was so cool. I Those are the two that I actually have never completed. Oh, really? I've never completed oh, Seasons of Ages or, 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 uh, or 
or ages. Ages or seasons. So great. Jesus. So great. And, like, I'm really sad that the season wand never came back again. Yeah. Because it's such a cool... um, Because, like, you know, with ages, you get that, like, time travel sort of thing Mm -hmm. with, like, several Zelda games. Right. There's never... Like, that seasonal thing is such a cool uh, concept. And, oh, you have to stand on this stump and you have to change the season so you can jump on this snowdrift to get to a certain place that you can't get to during summer. It's awesome. I love it. That's that's one thing I loved about Banjo-Kazooie when I originally played that is there was the Click Clock Wood. And Click Clock oh, Wood, yeah. there were four separate levels. Yeah, one yeah. of them was winter, spring, fall, mm-hmm. etc. I love that stuff. Yeah, see, why, did you you say, just, why did you say winter, spring, fall, etc.? There's just one more thing. Because three everybody already knows. I should have just said all the seasons and nothing else. So, I don't know why I had to define it at all. You know, all the ceilings. Quelf. Um, fall, winter, spring, and Quelf. Um, yeah, like, I, uh, Banjo-Kazooie does that, and I just started playing ukulele, because that came out. Oh, yeah. And there's a seasonal thing in oh, that, cool. too, and I just... Man, that. that that drama behind that, that was a bummer. What do you mean? For ukulele? I th- we talked about this, didn't we, on the show? Maybe. What, uh, JonTron was a voice. Oh, And then right. he kind of had that weird racist meltdown. Right. <laughs> and uh, they were like, oh, no, 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 we can't do this. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> And that's sad too, because they. Did I liked a, his videos. And, you know, he's he's good. It's he's funny. He's entertaining. Right. But like, keep the bonkers under wraps. A little <laughs> bit, you know, if you can be racist, just well, first, don't be. Yeah. Because it's 2017, <laughs> and grow the fuck up. Right. But like, if you're gonna be bonkersville, just do it. Like, shout at your wall in your bedroom, <laughs> or like, put your head in an oven. I don't care which. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, I but blah, 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 blah. I thought it was really there's an extra like level of either awkwardness or sadness to it other than him just being <laughs> an idiot um, but they did a, a guest grumps a long time ago and it was it was when John was still on game grumps so right. it was Aaron and John and they had, um, I can't remember his name right now, but the guy who did the music for Banjo-Kazooie and Ukulele. Oh. I cannot think of his name. John Williams. That's the one. <laughs> so they had John Williams on the show. And he's just this British prick. And he's hilarious, though. Like, he's just got, like, a really crude sense of humor. Right. And it fit in. And they were obviously all friends. And they've talked since then, like, how good of friends they are. Right. And that's probably why John Tron was able to do a voice for the game is because he's still in contact with that guy. And that happens. And I'm like, oh, man, I can't imagine, like, how that guy feels. How Aaron feels. And, I mean, even Aaron. Like, he's got to see that stuff. Because they were really good friends. And even though they decided to go separate ways, like, I've... Since then, he said, like, you know, we're still friends. Like, we still talk from time to time. Right. And when you see, like, a friend do that, it's like, how do I react? Yeah. Like, do I defend my friend, even though I feel like he totally <clears throat> fucked up? <clears throat> right. Yeah, it's a, it's a tough... You know, I think everyone's been in that situation before, where you have to be like, all right, well, that goes against everything I believe in, but, you know, I've known this dude for 16 years, and how do I fucking deal with this now? Yeah, for sure. Oh, well, what a heavy thing to leave the fucking (laughs) end of the show on. (laughs) Yay! Existential dread! (laughs) Racism was the word of the day! Yeah! (laughs) Super late, Hoff!